idea. I'm Terry. Welcome back. And if you're new here, welcome to my channel. On this channel, you will find interior decorating, organizing tips and tricks, and some fun DIYs. In today's video, I've decided to finally do something about my tablet cover. I've had it for a long time, and I love it. It's It it's, serves its purpose, but I wanted to do something fun on the back, and I did. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how I created this on the back of my cover. I did something similar to this on my actual Nook when we used to use Nooks. One thing with that was that I couldn't change it. So this is a cover, so I can actually take my tablet out and switch covers, which means there's so many more covers that I can do different designs on. <laughs> Great idea. Anyway, so I wanna show you how I did this. Super easy, it's time consuming. For me, it's relaxing. I think it the outcome is so satisfying and it's so beautiful and I will tell you another thing it is really heavy after you do this to your cover anyway so here is the back case of my tablet and I've already kind of laid out how I want to set up the charms on there and then I'm going to fill it all in with rhinestones and then the flowers I think are from Amazon these um, resin flowers are from Etsy so I got this centerpiece from AliExpress and then some of these other pieces are also from AliExpress and I will link everything that I can for you below. This is how it's going to look and then we're going to fill it, like I said, with rhinestones. These are the rhinestones that I'm going to be using and the key in using rhinestones is you really want to use those that are made with glass and not acrylic. The acrylics tend to cloud and your glass will stay clear for you. I'm also going to be using the E6000, the jewelry and bead. I'll also be using my rhinestone pen picker upper. <laughs> All right, guys, let's get started. I'm going to glue these main charms on first. So what I want to do is take these um, brooch pieces off and they come up pretty easily. So eight millimeter, six millimeter, and four millimeter rhinestones. I believe these are six millimeter, the pink rhinestones. So we'll do those. I might try adding these. These are um, just a little acrylic crystals, but they're solid, so they're not clear. And now what I want to first do, I don't know if you can see this, but on the case, there's a little edge right here. And I'm gonna go inside of that edge, um, just so that that's where the casing kind of bends. 
So I'm just gonna go in, sorry, I've got glue all on my finger. <laughs> I'm gonna go right along this edge and keep the crystals inside of that edge all the way around. So the first thing I'm gonna do is do it a whole trace of the edge and I'm gonna do it all in the clear crystals. Okay, now the outline's done. Now I like to start from a corner and, and move in. So I'm going to pick a corner and go from there. So I think, I think I'm gonna start with this corner right here. Sorry guys, my battery died and I had to wait to charge it. So in the interim, I went ahead and kept going on this. Um, I did have to take off the metal piece on the center one so that it would lay flat because it was just too much of a gap underneath. But now I'm just kind of taping it up so the fur won't get in while I finish this area. But, so this is where I'm at right now.
guys, I think my camera's getting tired. <laughs> All right, we're down to the last corner. Guys, dinner's gonna be ready in about 20 minutes, so I need to stop. Time to stop. No, more stop. Games. no more games. much for watching I hope you enjoyed the video it really turned out stunning and I'm excited to carry it around please leave me a thumbs up if you like the video and don't forget to subscribe to see future videos and until next time bye bye